Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Noah here, and welcome back to another episode of Star Predictions. This is the series where we try to predict Sir Sim and Toy for tomorrow. Unfortunately, last week, I wasn't able to predict anything correctly. The week I do not predict the Prospector is the week that Sir actually brings it. You gotta be kidding me. So yeah, I didn't guess anything correctly, but some of you guys rose above the top and actually predicted something correctly. And here they are. Congratulations on predicting something correctly. And let's see if you can do it again this week. Remember, if you guys would like to get featured in next week's episode of Sir Predictions, just leave your predictions in the comments below. And if you get something correctly, you'll be featured in next week's episode. And with that, let's get on to today's predictions. So today we're gonna be starting off with the Titans, and I predict Sir will bring for the Titans the Lion Rampant, the Exotic Boots. These boots give you additional area maneuverability, so you can have a lot more control with yourself when you're up in the air. So yeah, that's all it gives you. You just get a lot more control. Well, up in the air. It's actually pretty useful, but I don't know if it's useful enough for it to take your exotic slot since the Titans have some pretty good exotic armor pieces like the War Rig, the Dude Marchers, the Skull Ford. So I'm not sure that this one can compete with them. Alright, so now let's move on to the Warlocks. And I predict, sir, this week we're waiting for the Warlocks, the Luna Faction Boots. This allows your Rift to gain an additional ability to automatically reload your allies' weapons. So you step on the Rift and your weapons automatically get reloaded. This is really good for boss damage or when you want to do a lot of damage in a short amount of time. Since you can just keep stepping in and out of the Rift with your power weapon and you dump all your rocket launcher ammo, grenade launcher, actually who uses a grenade launcher? Your rocket launcher ammo, your sniper ammo or whatever else that you have. This is actually the only exotic I'm missing for the Warlock and I really want it. I want to see what I can do with the Rift just automatically reloading my weapons. Alright, so now let's move on to the Hunter, and I predict that Sir this week will bring for the Hunters the Lucky Raspberry, the exotic chest armor. The Lucky Raspberry increases the chaining capabilities of the Arc Bolt Grenade, and it has a chance to recharge it each time it deals damage. It doesn't have to kill anybody, it just has to deal damage for it to have a chance to recharge it. And the Lucky Raspberry actually makes the Arc Bolt a pretty good grenade. It makes it pretty close to that wonderful thing known as the Year 1 Destiny 1 Arc Bolt. With the Lucky Raspberry, I believe I could chain up three different people, which is really nice. You just do a lot of damage to three people if they're kind of close to each other. They don't even have to be next to each other since it has increased chaining capabilities. They have to be a couple meters from each other and they will still chain. And also, there's the whole thing of being able to do damage and recharging it. You have to get pretty lucky to recharge it, but if you do, you can just throw two and do some real nice damage. And lastly, let's move on to the weapon. And I predict Sir this week will bring for the weapon, the Risk Runner, the Exotic Submachine Gun. The Exotic Broken's weapon is Superconductor. When our conductor is active, shots fire have a chance to become Chain Lightning and return ammo. And the Risk Runner has to be one of the funnest exotics to use in PvE. If you're constantly getting damage by arc damage, you can just basically have unlimited ammo and just run through everything. Fire for at least 30 seconds without stopping. It's just crazy how long you can keep the Arc Conductor perk going, and it's actually really effective, especially against smaller ads because of the AoE damage that it has on the Chain Lightning, so I definitely really enjoy using the Risk Runner. But with that, we're gonna end today's predictions. I hope you guys have enjoyed them. Remember to leave your predictions in the comments below for a chance to join next week's episode, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.